Well, let's uh, answer that in a couple of different ways. Firstly, let's take ourselves back to Roman times when you might go out and buy a beautiful sculpture. You'd bring it home, put it in pride of place. And when the day got a little bit hot, actually the, the sculpture that wasn't authentic would actually leak out and seep out some wax and expose the cracks, the indentations, the imperfections that were thought not to be there because they were so well covered with wax. So what happened in those days was that the buyers became pretty savvy and decided they wanted their uh, marble statues put under fire before they bought them to see whether they're the real thing, whether they were without wax or whether they were fakes, whether they were with wax. And I think that's a great description for leadership as well because leaders are either seen to be authentic without wax or they're seen to be fake and with wax and with imperfections covered over, glossed over and um, might look good on the outside but under pressure, under fire, under challenge, um, those imperfections show through. I think a great example we've seen in recent times in the last few months, we saw ANZ do some really interesting stuff around that I think showed some authentic leadership from Shane Elliott, the new CEO. Shane pulled the ad titled, We Live in Your World. And he pulled that because he said, actually, I and my fellow executives who live in fancy houses in, in Turak and South Yarra in Melbourne or in Double Bay and Vaucluse in Sydney actually don't live in the real world of our customers. We drive our fancy cars to fancy big offices and then we go home again and we're not really in touch with our customers and we need to change that. And it's only once we've changed that that we can be genuine and authentic and put on the sort of ads that we've had on recently. So I thought that was a, a really good example of a, a leader showing some authenticity, actually saying, I'm sorry about that. We stuffed up. That was totally inappropriate. And as leaders, it's pretty hard to do that. And it's often not seen as strength. It's seen as weakness. I actually think it's the other way around. I think it shows great strength, great depth of character when a leader can say, actually, I was wrong. I did something out of place and I won't do that again. We're going to change and we, we're absolutely determined to change. And most people, most Aussies, we say, can pick a fake a mile away. And I think we're pretty good at knowing whether leaders are actually authentic and the real McCoy or whether they're really just having a nice external facade and um, not really the real McCoy. So that's the difference between authentic leadership and non-authentic leadership.